All right, folks, so in this video, we're going to go ahead and take a look at some of the geometry that goes into a, a barn and kind of the structure behind it. And there are going to be kind of two parts to this, um, but some of the big ideas to kind of be looking out for are going to be unit conversions, but also kind of the geometry that kind of goes into these problems. So let's get started with kind of the, uh, the first part. Okay. So part one. We want to paint the gable ends of a barn. Okay, so for those that don't know, gable ends are basically the uh, the front and back of the barns. What we're not going to worry too much about is we're not going to worry about the sides or the roof right now. Okay, so even though those are some factors, like we're not concerned about those at this time. We're only really going to focus on the front and the back of the barn. Now. In terms of this project, okay, we only want to make one visit to Lowe's. We don't want to have to make trip after trip, getting more paint, more paint, more paint. So we're trying to figure out once we've got the right amount of paint, okay, and basically we need to know, in this case, the liters that we'll need. Okay. Now, before we go into the store, we already did a little bit of research. We know that a liter of paint will cover 10 square meters of a wall. Okay. So, how much paint do we need uh, to cover both of the gable ends with paint? Okay, and then we've got the uh, the measurements that go ahead and kind of tie into it. Okay, so some of the big ideas here. Okay, liters of paint. We know that one liter will cover ten square meters. Okay, and we know that we have both. Okay, two gable ends to take care of. Okay. So at this point, we need to go ahead and start kind of picking apart, you know, what are the dimensions of the barn? Okay. Now in this case, we can say that there is symmetry. We can say that that's part of this design. Okay. But to go ahead and divide this up, okay, we will need to go ahead and create box shapes that we're familiar with. Okay. So in this case, we can divide it into a rectangle and a triangle, and we have most of the dimensions that we're going to need. Okay. So we know surface area of a rectangle is basically width times depth. And for this triangle, or for this rectangle, we know that it's going to be 11.9 meters times a height, in this case, okay, of 6.1 meters. We also know that for the triangle part of it, it's one half times base times height. Okay. So in this case, triangle 0.5 times base is going to be the same as the, uh, the rectangle, so 11.9 meters. And we know that um, while we don't see the height, we can calculate it. Okay. So if we calculate it, we're basically saying this 12.7 minus 6.1, and quick math is saying that is 6.6 .6 meters. So we'll multiply by 6.6 .6 meters. So of these two parts, Point five times eleven point nine times six point six, and the first part of the uh, the triangle basically is thirty nine point two seven meters squared. Okay, meter squared is because whatever we do the numbers, we also do the unit. Okay, so no unit times meter times meter means we have meters squared. And then for the rectangle part, 11.9 times 6.1, and we get 72.59 meters squared. We now simply add those together, and we have a total area equal to 111.86 meters squared. Now, the trick here 
is not forgetting that we have both of the gable ends to take care of. Okay? So as tempting as it may be to round that off, you know, change it to the, you know, the liters needed for 10 meters squared of wall, okay? we do want to go ahead and double that now. Okay? So times two, and we should be getting 222, or sorry, 223.72 meters squared. Okay. At this point, we're basically flipping back over to our unit conversion. Now in this case, we know that that one liter of paint equals 10 meters squared. In our conversions, you know, we can set it up either way, you know, we're going to have one liter over 10 meters squared, or we can have 10 meters squared over one liter, but these are both equal, okay, to a value of one, okay, and this is why the unit conversion part matters, okay. So we'll pick the one with the unit we want to get rid of on the bottom, the unit we want on top, so times one liter over 10 meters squared. Units cancel out. Dividing by 10 basically means we're shifting that decimal over one place. 22.372 is going to basically be the number of liters that we need. Except, okay, we need to think about real life applications. Okay, we cannot just go into uh, Lowe's or Home Depot and ask for 22.37 liters of paint. Okay, we're also going to have to realize that you know that's the bare minimum that we will need. Okay, for us and only want to make that one trip, let's assume that we're not going to make any mistakes in painting the wall or have to paint more than one section. But that still means that we're going to have to round up. Okay, so even though this would round closer to 22 liters because that 0.37 would go down, because we need enough paint to fully cover that, okay, the correct answer for this is actually 23 liters of paint.